Welcome to the Compliance Resource Channel. Compliance Resource is a source of compliance assistance for financial institutions across the country. This week, our Director of Compliance, Robin Cooper, is going to talk about a question that we received in our community forum about a flood insurance zone designation issue. Hi, thanks for joining us. We're going to take a look at a question that we have recently received in our community forum on flood insurance. If you'd like to take a look at our question in the community forum, please visit us at jackscompliancesource.com. Once you're to our homepage, click on Free Services and scroll down to Community Forum. Once you're in the Community Forum, you can find this question under the Flood Disaster Protection Act topic. And this question is titled, Newly Mapped to SF. HA or Special Flood Hazard Area. And the question reads, we have a few flood policies that are listed as newly mapped to SFHA or Special Flood Hazard Area on the flood policy. The policy flood risk rated zone is X and the current zone is AE which matches the flood determination form. The question goes on to say that external auditors have said this is incorrect because both sections of the policy don't reflect flood zone AE. And so the person asking this question is asking if this is true, if both section, both zones need to match, and they're saying they can't find any information on how the deck sheets should be completed and what it should reflect, so they're asking for additional information. To back up just a minute and to discuss what this portion of the policy that says newly mapped to SFHA means. Back on April 1st of 2015, FEMA implemented newly mapped procedures to implement requirements of the Homeowners Flood Insurance Affordability Act. And essentially, these newly mapped procedures are, in to, are to ensure that buildings that were previously in a low to moderate risk area that have been newly mapped into high risk flood areas or flood zones that the owners of those properties have time to become accustomed to paying those flood insurance premiums at a lower rate initially and then eventually transitioning into paying that full risk rate premium. So well, that's what these newly mapped procedures are. So buildings that were previously in a low to moderate risk flood zone in a zone of B, C, X, or D that have been newly mapped into a high risk flood zone, a zone beginning with the letters A or V, may be eligible for a lower cost rate through a preferred risk policy for a period of one year following the map change. And then eventually after that first year, the rate begins to transition to a full risk rate policy. So when we see that these policies listed newly mapped to SFHA or Special Flood Hazard Area, we know that they've been newly mapped into a high risk flood zone. Um, they were previously in a low to moderate risk flood zone and they're eligible for these lower rates for a period of one year after the map change. Now to address the rest of the question which mentions the discrepancy between the risk rate zone on the policy versus the current zone on the policy. Typically we know that when we see a zone on the policy and a zone under the determination, determination form that those should match and if there is a discrepancy between those zones then that is something as a lender that you're required to ensure that is corrected and that those zones match. In this case, the current zone of AE matches what's on the determination as AE, but the risk zone is the risk rating zone is listed as X, and so that differs from the current zone on the policy and from the determination form zone. And so, in the case of these newly mapped properties that are getting these preferred risk policies at a lower rate, then this is acceptable for those. You should be seeing a risk rating zone that reflects the low to moderate zone that the building was previously in. And then you should also see the current zone that reflects the current zone, that current high risk zone that the building has been ma newly mapped into. And so a difference between that risk rating zone on the policy and the current zone listed on the policy for these newly mapped properties it's not going to be considered a discrepancy, nor is it considered a discrepancy if the risk rating zone on the policy is different than the zone listed on the determination form. Now, it would be considered a discrepancy, however, if the current flood zone listed on the policy or the deck sheet 
was different than the the zone that listed on the determ on that flood hazard determination form or that standard flood hazard determination form. If there's a difference between the current zone and the determination zone on the form, then that is going to be considered a discrepancy and that is an issue that you would need to sure, ensure is corrected. So again, just to reiterate, there if there is a difference for these newly mapped properties that are eligible for these preferred risk policies at a lower rate, and you see a risk zone that is different from the current zone on the policy or is different from different from that standard flood hazard determination zone um, that is listed on that form, that is not considered a discrepancy. But if for these newly mapped properties that have the preferred risk policy at a lower rate, if there is a difference between the current flood zone on those policies versus the zone that is listed on your standard flood hazard determination form, then that would be considered a discrepancy and at that point you would need to ensure that that discrepancy is corrected. Thank you for joining us. Please visit our forum at jackscompliancesource.com to look for additional questions and answers. Thank you.